This is a dill pickle, a mighty pretty pickle, especially when he joins you at the show. We have lots of pretty pickles waiting for you at the refreshment center. They're plump, tender, mouth-watering. Wouldn't one taste good right now? Get the item that adds to your personal comfort. Cigarettes, here they are. Get the kind you prefer and enjoy them thoroughly. All the most popular brands. they were in a kind of trance, were killing and eating their victims, prompted authorities to examine the bodies of some of the victims. Medical authorities in Cumberland have concluded that in all cases, the killers are eating the flesh of the people they murdered. Repeating this latest bulletin just received moments ago from Cumberland, Maryland, civil defense authorities have told newsmen that murder victims show evidence of having been partially devoured by their murderers. Medical examination of victims' bodies shows conclusively that the killers are eating the flesh of the people they kill. If you need more people, just radio me. I'll send some upstairs, okay? Miguel, you're starting to get pretty nervous upstairs. I know, but we're trying to do the best we can to. Look, sooner or later, there's going to be more than that we can handle. Okay, this is just my opinion. I think they're hungry. They're running out of food out there, and they know we're all gathered here. I don't think we'll be able to evacuate everyone safely. Yeah, I know. Well, we got a plan. I know. Dr. Raymer, I see you. Dr. Jeffries, please dial 212. Okay, everyone, just focus. Let's keep it going. Dr. Jeffries, please. 
please dial the fourth floor nurses station, Dr. Jeffrey's fourth floor nurses station. Dr. Reitman, please dial the operating room. Dr. Reitman, dial the operating room. I have to be honest with you. I don't think this is going to work. Well, I honestly think that we can find a way to eliminate the virus and isolate it. Look, I've been one of these creatures. I've seen what they can do. I don't think this is going to work, but I hope I'm wrong. I hope so, too.
rescue team found a group of survivors from the burned building. They've been trapped there for days. Can you handle them? Well, we don't have a very good burn unit. Franklin Memorial's the best in the country, but they're over 80 miles away. Do you think if we get them there, they have a chance of surviving? We'll never be able to get that far on the ground. Can we use a helicopter? We don't have a pilot. What if we find a pilot? Do you think we can do it? Well, we don't have any guarantee then. But even if you get to Franklin, there's anybody there alive. But they should have enough fuel to make it back if they find it empty or run. That's true. I mean, if you can get a pilot to fly the helicopter there, then I think they might have a chance of surviving. You prep those patients. I'll start looking. The last thing I remember clearly is that I was driving. You just called me to pick you up. I was stuck at a line and I was carjacked. I don't think you were carjacked. Fifty bucks says your car is still sitting where you left it. You were turned. Turned into what? We don't know. But by the looks of it, you were still only a freshie. <laughs> what is a freshie? How did you get out of prison? Ugh, I have a lot to fill you in on. See? I told you it's still there. Interesting. How long do you think it's been sitting here? It's been a few weeks, buddy. In this town? And nobody stole it? Hey, our luck. Let's go. get you to the other end of the complex, we can take the helicopter to Franklin Memorial. There's enough fuel to make the round trip if you find it empty or overrun. So don't be a hero, just get back safe. started turning people, friends, other prisoners, the guards, everybody. I stopped, thought it stopped there, but then, before I realized it, it was everywhere. We had no place to go. Me? Yeah. Me, <coughs> Rachel, Miguel, my cellmates. Everyone. My friends. I mean, we, we've just been picking people off the street and bringing them back. Where is Rachel now? She didn't make it. I'm sorry. It's okay. Let me set up a base camp at the hospital. We've been bringing survivors. I mean, we have a lot of good supplies running low. We feel them all, and we'll be able to heal that scar on your face, too. It's not so bad. Yeah, we don't want to get any infected. We have plenty of everything at the hospital, so don't worry about it. So, 
so who's in charge of all this? All of what? The hospital, the survivors, the rescue attempts. <laughs> I don't know me, I guess. Miguel, like, I don't know, man. We've just, just been organizing whoever we can, bringing them to the hospital, helping the nurses, teaching the guys how to shoot in case they have to. I mean, we set up a backup plan just in case we have to evacuate everyone, but uh, we got a lot of hope going up. Crisp, flavorful fish sandwiches, golden brown and crunchy outside, and tender and juicy inside for a snack or a meal. What is this place? I don't know. It's just a parking garage, I guess. It's best we hide out until the coast gets a little bit clearer. Why do we need to hide out? Let's just go straight to the hospital. We can't. I realized a long time ago that these creatures move in groups. They sort of migrate. It's simple, really. I mean, they're easy to escape from. They don't see well. But the problem is, when they travel in groups, it's easy to get surrounded and overrun by them. Remember that. I bit you. Aren't you going to turn into one of them? No. No, I already was one of them. I'm immune. I mean, I guess. And so are you. <laughs> That's good. No, it's very freaking good. But you can still get torn to pieces, so don't celebrate just yet. So any signs? Nothing. Okay. Just keep watching. If you see anything, hit me on the radio. Yeah, no problem, buddy. Keep still, there's not a lot of bandages. So what started all this? What, the creatures? Yeah. I don't know for sure. We think it started in prison. It's an evil place. A long time ago, this warden by the name of Nathaniel Arlen Steve like nuts, killed a bunch of the inmates. There was this big fire and they were burned alive. They never even found them all the bodies. I don't know what happened, but those bodies started coming out of the ground, killing everybody. So I think evil woke up there. And all I know is that we have to stop it. So these things just started coming out of the ground? Seems like it. Wow. Yep. How far do you think this has gotten out? Well, we have no phone. We have no television. We have pretty much no outside communication whatsoever. So we think that this thing has gotten pretty far out there. We should... We 
she walked around, and then she put the doors are locked and stuff. And I have to spend the night here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Split up and check these staircases and make sure they're locked. Yeah. Look. You take this. Never shot at that before. Yeah, well, you'll learn. Please. 
Did you get anything on your radio? No, I think we're out too far. What about your cell phone? It's like there's no signal. Yeah, there might not be a tower anymore. I think we have a problem. What? Do you see those creatures out there? Do you see how they're moving? Yeah, so? I've been watching them for weeks. And they normally stay in groups. But they never move in a pattern like that. Well, that's good, right? I mean, that means we can finally get out of here and maybe avoid them, too. No, it's not good. Why? Because they're heading towards the hospital. How is that possible? I don't know. But we need to warn them somehow. Warn them to do what? To get ready for a fight. They should see that. We have some time before they get us. Stay close. The chopper's in the air in two minutes!
Here's the plan. When the rescue team gets here, I'm gonna try to clear a path. That should give you enough time to escape. Do you hear that car? Let's go. Look! Over there! Okay! Let's get a few of you guys together. I just want to go out as soon as possible. Hey, 
You've been home for a couple of days, man. You should take some rest. No, look, I just want to get something to eat, and I want to go right back out. I have an idea, and I think it might save all of us. All right, everyone. Here's the challenge. The idea is to bottleneck them in. We can hold them off well that way. But after that, it's going to spread really fast. So we're going to have to stand our ground until we can push back into the upper levels. But we must hold our ground at each of those positions. We need to give them as much time as we can upstairs to evacuate those patients. Also, the more of those creatures that we can get inside the building, the better this plan is going to work. get together. I'll go back out soon. A few days ago, I tracked a small group of the creatures. It was then that I saw someone I knew, an old friend of mine. We have to find him, and we have to turn him back. He can help us figure out what these creatures are up to, and how we can stop them. Good, let's go. What are the chances we're going to survive this? Well... I didn't expect a question like that. Why? Because we've been following you the whole time. You're like Moses to these people, leading us through the desert. I'm not like Moses. I wish we had somebody else leading us, but we don't. I'm just as scared as anyone else, if not more. No one's asking you to be a superhero. You've led us this far. But I believe in you, and I know you can take us to safety. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for you. If anything happens to me, please, get these people somewhere safe. You'll be fine. I got your back. Miguel, I know you promised your mom that you'd never pick up a gun again. It means a lot to me that you stayed here with me. It's not breaking a promise. If I do it to save the life of a friend... I think she'd understand. She'd be proud of you. Thank you. Miguel, it's up to you. If I die tonight, get these people out of here. I will. Good. Let's roll. We started this together. We're gonna end this together. I wish I could return with hope for these people. I wish I could give them what they deserve and what they've been praying for. And all I can do is provide them with questions instead of answers. And I fear that the suffering is far from over.
We'll go with that. Okay, you prep the patients, and I'll start looking. All right. If we can get you to the other end of the complex, you can take the helicopter to Franklin Memorial. Cool. Get me a pina colada while you're at it. <laughs>